blacksmith can make one of these. A village blacksmith can make every weapon you saw demonstrated today except this. This required both a much more skilled metal worker, a lot more metal, which was very expensive, and it had to be a special metal to be any really good. You had to have steel rather than just iron. This would be iron. To be truly effective, a sword had to be steel. The best steel the Vikings used for this they actually got from a long trade route where the Vikings could actually get down through rivers in Russia to what we now know as northern, northern, uh, northern Persia, northern Iran. And there they had the technology to actually get their smelters hot enough that the iron ore would melt and they could form steel. For something like an axe head, they just dug up the iron ore and basically purified it by hitting it again and again and again and again with a hammer to try to knock the impurities out of it. The swords were so rare and so spiritually important to the Vikings, we've actually got multiple graves where the man is buried with his sword, but the sword has been heated and bent like a pretzel because it wasn't enough just to kill the man you also had to kill the spirit of his sword. These things were considered almost magical based on their effectiveness. So, Warlord, today we have chosen Grimnir Bernardson. Oh yeah. Oh yes. I want his hands together for this swordsman. I want him. <laughs> today we are going to test him with Fisker. I want him. Very! Oh! Ah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you may begin. The others can join you when they're, uh, when they're ready. I'm born ready. Frog! <laughs> Ha ha ha! 